Spring break is coming and the kids are going to be looking to you for something to do. You want them to have a break, but you don't want them zoning out on their tablet, laptop, phone, or gaming all day. So you're looking for that peace and balance of your kids having a little less structure, but still being productive, having fun, and learning. Well, you came to the right place. Stay tuned for five tips to build language skills in children, spring break edition. Hey there, it's DDSLP with Spirit Speech Consulting. I am a speech language pathologist who motivates, inspires, and encourages moms towards positive parenting in a dangerous digital age. I walk with them in systematically creating an environment that fosters developmental growth and success that their children will benefit from for years to come. So that you get more tips and tricks and resources please hit the subscribe button and you will see my videos a lot easier. Also, if something resonated with you, please like, comment, and share this video with others you may know that could benefit from this information. If you would like to follow me on other platforms, you can find me at Spirit Speech Consulting on Instagram, and I have an amazing Facebook group called Pandemic Mama, where we lift each other up, provide support, and share our wins because you know what? It's tough out here in those mom streets. So hop on in and join the conversation at Pandemic Mama on Facebook. All right, here are your five tips for building language skills in children during spring break. Number one, playing board games. Games like Monopoly, Candyland, Apples to Apples, Gestures, and Pictionary provide opportunities for your child to build language and they don't even know it. They are strengthening critical thinking skills, turn-taking, building descriptive vocabulary, and reading. You get all of that with doing a board game. Board games require kids to make decisions, think about different outcomes, and it's a fun and great way for the family to bond. I would have Friday night game night with my two boys every Friday and they looked forward to it. Even when I was tired and I didn't feel like it, they would drag out the games and set up the boards. So I knew it was something that they really enjoyed. Number two is baking cookies. This is a great way for kids to use math skills and be creative at the same time. They can use recipes that call for doubling the amounts or reducing them in half, giving them practical experience with fractions. You can discuss the various different ingredients and why they are needed, such as vanilla extract gives the cookies a flavor, and baking powder helps the cookies to rise. Again, your children won't even know they are building language skills. Plus, they get to eat some delicious cookies, so they're getting two for one. I am a cookie monster at heart, and my kids ended up being the very same way. Imagine that. We often use cookie cutters and made our own frosting to decorate the cookies. I have cookie cutters from different holidays, like here are some Christmas ones, and here are some Halloween ones, and even some different shapes. So you can have fun with it. Don't feel like you have to make cookies from scratch though. There are several options of refrigerated cookie dough that you can use and still get the same results. The best thing is to have fun and make them mm -mm good. All right, number three is taking a trip to a museum. This exposes your child to new words, new experiences, and helps them to connect with what they learn with a visual presentation. Museums are full of opportunities to learn new things and actively engage with language concepts. Often museums encourage children to ask questions, read signs, and talk about what they see in order to participate in interactive exhibits. Don't worry about trying to find a big fancy museum. Most cities have nice children's museums with hands-on activities to ignite your child's creativity, sense of wonder, and get them asking questions. And remember, questions are good. That's one great way to learn. 
By asking questions, this could also build a child's confidence that could transfer to the classroom setting when a student needs to ask for clarification to gain better understanding of academic topics. Okay, we are moving right along. We're at number four, and this is having a picnic in your backyard. This provides an opportunity for bonding and gives your child something different that doesn't break the bank or require you to leave the house. Children love to do things out of the norm, so you can get a lot with this one. You can talk about different foods and what would be appropriate for a picnic and why. You can have your child write out a grocery list as this builds critical thinking and planning skills. You can even have your younger children draw pictures of what they want on their sandwich and explain why they chose that ingredient. The possibilities really are endless for this one, so have fun. And number five is going on a scavenger hunt in your neighborhood. This gets your children moving around while discovering new things and building on their observational skills. This is an activity you can customize and craft to your specific community. Maybe there's a park nearby with benches for you to place an item under the bench, or maybe there's a school in the neighborhood and you can come up with a funny riddle on how you would get to that school. You can even get your neighbors involved by having items on their porch for your children to find or by enlisting your neighbor's help to actually give them the clues. This activity helps to build problem solving skills, inferencing, and it's just a fun activity that the whole family could get involved in. Well, those are your five tips for fun ways to build language during spring break. I would love the feedback on how it went with using any of these tips. So please comment below and let me know about the fun you're having. Tune in next week when I will talk about fun games you can play in the car for those long spring break car rides. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.